Hey, well, no, I don't wear pants, but that's just a me thing, so, in general. But hey, mm, not sure if that's against the uh, Twitch terms of service, but, hmm. Mm, I guess I could. And there's some feet as well. I hope you're happy. I hope it made you happy, Cara. Because that's all you're getting for now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got teeth. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, I look good. And I wiggle and everything. And my ears wiggle. And I think that's about it, really. But hey, I can also make expressions, kind of. I'm getting angry. Grrr. I think. I think I look angry anyway. Or yeah. Not sure why my eyes are so fiddly today, but oh well. Because of that twitch. But Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Maybe I just need to have my eyes fully open all the time but, and then please don't yell at me please and then lastly just complete and utter disgust Whenever I hear Koro talking about his expensive chair. His far too expensive chair. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> eh? I'm just going to keep doing that or not. Seems to be very sporadic. I think it's okay. Anyway, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with my new model. It was done by uh, Yuna, who Cora knows, and the art was done by Evie, who, well, I've got her on Twitter, so it's on my profile. But hey, so yeah, this is it, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, but I think maybe I need to fiddle around with the blinking settings a bit. I think it's too sensitive on the left. But hey, at least I can wink. Hmm. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Just as long as I remember not to uh, lower my eyes too much. Use that. Anyway, yeah, so today we're going to play more Paradise Killer because I wanted to get on with it and finish it already. And thankfully, I've also uh, done a lot of the grinding. So I think it should be much easier to get through now. Anyway, let's get over there. Okay. And there's back to the smooth jazz. It's very quiet. Not sure why it's so quiet. There we go. That might be okay. Right. Well, let me know if it's too loud. But anyway, so continuing the investigation. So last we left off, we know that um, Yuri not only had something to do with the obelisks, to, uh, he was raising the obelisks in order to um, create a blackout uh, communications blackout that would account for his momentary disconnection so that nobody would know where he was and that was his cover story 
Um, and we also know that Dr. Not Dr. Jazz. Um, end of end of something. A witness. Witness to the end. Ah. Witness to the end. It was the one who um, messed around and probably had something to do with it because he was very worried that without another island to have to end, he would be out of a job. So it's rumoured that he... Uh, it's rumoured that he was the one who um, caused all the problems to begin with. Anyway. Yeah, just checking my model again. I'm going to have to stay wide-eyed throughout the entirety of this, rather than seem more sleepy. But anyway. Yeah, so how are you doing anyway? Actually, I'm going to quickly, just because I'm sick of watching myself wink all the time. Because it shouldn't be winking that much. Better? I think that's better. Yeah, that looks better. There we go, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so... Oh, wait, I'm just going down there. Right, so I got a lot of the um, collecting done. So now I can also air dash, which allows me to get to a lot of places a lot more easily. And I was very, very happy about that because it makes a lot of the collecting so much faster. And it actually let me collect a whole bunch of things. And look at how quickly I can just traverse the entire landscape by just running and jumping. Yeah. And the next thing I was going to do was go and, um, instead of going around and talking back and forth to people, I was going to go and find the rest of the um, evidence that I needed. And that way, I can go and quickly call them out on things if they try and feed me nonsense. Textbook. Long and boring. Makes sense? Tim Jones always has the best, always gets the best bottles. If you do spend the night in him, you at least get a nice glass of wine out of it. Several, really. I don't doubt that. He's not as hot as some of the characters in uh, Boyfriend Dungeon, but he's still pretty hot. Uh, looks like Doom Jazz does his own maintenance on his arms, despite them being made by Masahiro Heavy Industries. Who are the people responsible for? Ooh, a photo of Grand Marshal Akiko 14. I wonder why. So is she wearing a towel in that? She looks naked. But it looks like there's nothing particularly important. Aside from that, yeah. Doom Jazz holding a candle for Akiko. Always thought he was the loverman leaving type. <clears throat> oh, it's just with me, apparently. Which is insulting all of its own, all on its own. Ah. I thought we had a connection. Much like me and Isaac. But never mind then. I guess I'm just one of many to him. Which is kind of hurtful, but never mind. I'll just leave him be. And let him get on with his life. Um, oh yes, I was going to do this as well. Bingo. Oh, really? I went all over the place finding all of these just to get five blood crystals. Uh, um, all right, now I was going to go to Witness's apartment because we haven't actually checked inside there. There are a few places that I didn't realize you could actually check inside. So I wanted to go and take a look at each one of them before I went back and uh, started confronting them. Because I'm sure they all, none of them actually mean well. I know that for a fact. They're all jerks, in one way or another. All untrustworthy. 
uh, as long as I can remember where they are. But then I can just jump and dash because I am now very, very agile. I do love being agile. But I need to check in Dr. Doom Jazz's Dr. Uh, Witness to the End's apartment. See what other tidbits of information he has that I can confront him with afterwards. And then... Well, we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to call him out on yet, but I still think that he was the one who uh, actually triggered uh, Henry's... No. He was the one who triggered Henry's little spasm that sent him off gallivanting across the island and allegedly killing people. But I'm still also pretty sure that was Yuri. And, oh, we also know now that the body, um, that the, oh, what was it? Ah, I can't remember. Um, nope, wrong thing. Let's see, potential leads... Yuri about his, us, his access to the obelisk logs. Where was the obelisk nightmare computer remotely accessed from? I need to go into the paradise gates because Lydia and um, Sam both had information from Yuri about the obelisks, so it's a good chance they knew in advance that it was going to happen. Um, oh, what else? That's another thing. Yeah, we know that they're they had a secret meeting. That's all. Oh, and um, the top of the council building was accessed, and we now know that someone got in from the top. We just don't know how. And I can go and explore the top halves of the para of the um, council building because I can now climb to the very top and work my way down. And you couldn't before. You couldn't get in without getting access from one of the guards. So. Nope, wrong person. Wrong thing. Oh well. Uh, nah, you wouldn't know about the murder. So, we'll leave you be. Uh, but, looking in his apartment... Let's see what's in here. Stoto, a statue of the prophet crying grudge. The god endlessly weeps at the visions of future he cannot see. Witness collects and breeds rare plants. He's given me one. Uh, witness's phone. Yay, we can take it to the comms tower and verify its location. So now we have more veric uh, stuff we can verify. Silent Goat, Holy Catalyst, and relics. Nope, not important. Okay, so now we have a camera. Uh, we have a phone. Um, and now we also have Yuri's phone and Akiko's phone and Lydia's phone, I believe. So we just need to find our way to a comms tower. Wherever one of those is. Mm. Comes to her, I think, of the things that play radio music, uh, tape music, but I'm not entirely sure. But now, I can also go to uh, Paradise Gates. So I need to find the Paradise Gates, and then once there, oh, there's a Comms Tower, I think. Unless it's just a radio tower. Oh, it's just a radio tower. Ah! I forgot what comms towers actually look like. No, they're not phones, but I do need to go to Paradise Island anyway. Or Paradise Gates, even. So I can take the phone there. And because I've got plenty of blood crystals, I don't really need to worry about uh, using them. Which was my earliest concern, was that I was going to run out of currency. I don't think I've even collected it all. Uh, we're going to the Paradise Gates, so that's, yeah. And from there, we're going to check your information, and we're going to check Witness's information and Yuri's information. And here is the Comm Tower, I believe, or an access to the Comm Tower, and also the Blood Bar. I like the two characters here. They're always the same people, as far as I know, but I like it when islands end. Change is good. Will we have any more change? We're on perfect 25 now. This will be the last island. Are you sure? No. Being sure about anything is a mistake. You never commit to anything. And you let yourself believe too easily. <laughs> never have faith in anything. 
ever. It's wise. A delightful blend that gives you the confidence to do what you always wanted but were too scared to. Probably. Yeah. Ah, wait a minute. So, Paradise Gates. These are the Paradise Gates, aren't they? These aren't the gates for the other place. This isn't where I came from. Nightmare Computer. Okay! Now we're getting somewhere. We've also got some other Nightmare Computers to fix over the other side. And thankfully, they're all pretty easy. Well, they usually are, anyway. But I never said I was competent or confident. But hey, we all got to do. We all got to make do with uh, what we can when it comes to puzzles. I've got the logs to the Paradise Gates. Let's see. Multiple entries for Lydia and other Syndicate members through the night. Most of the Syndicate were taken through the gates to the next island. Camera log. Lydia Daybreak, Sam Daybreak arrive. Blood vials authenticated. Lydia Daybreak, Sam Do Daybreak. Paradise Gates warm up sequence initiated. Status critical Paradise Gates sealed. Authorization judge. Paradise Gates emergency purge. Blood vials removed. Camera log, Lydia and Daybreak and Sam Daybreak both leave. So we know that was at least true, which was the concern before. The camera on the Nightmare computer confirms they were here the entire time. Their alibi is solid. Good. So that means we can clear them at least. But there's still a number of other people we don't know about. I still need to find the closest... Oh yeah, you don't have to pay to get back. Thank goodness for that. Um, and you still need to figure out where an actual comms tower is. Comms towers. I think comms tower would be in the, um, in the citizen zone, but... I don't really want to go back and do a bunch of uh, additional puzzles either, because I have no doubt the puzzles will just end up being more blood, vi uh, blood crystals and stuff. Oh, okay. I'd no I hadn't seen that one before, so I wondered what that was. Can we go there? No, we better not go there, because that's we've already travelled all the way through that and found nothing. Um... Yeah, we'll go to the barracks. Nope, or <laughs> not. Screw it. Sonic Ghost Statue, sewer. Anyways, screw it. We'll work our way from there. Comes tower, comes tower, comes tower. I hope comes tower isn't up on the roof. Um... Comms towers aren't the same thing as uh, those sorts of things, are they? Those just carry phone signals, they don't actually carry... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that's it. Already got you? Yep, already got you, okay. Already got you. Oh, this is the dead zone, yes. Okay. The dead zone part, uh, the dead zone uh, gate. Crap. Um, no. You would think I would actually give you a decent detailing of where a comms tower is, but maybe it's one of those two ray points. I'm gonna have to ta uh, transport again. I'm ending up doing more backtracking than I realised, but... Uh. Look that half the, half the things in the game are well labelled and other stuff isn't. It's vaguely labelled. Where are you, doggy? I still don't have any treats for you, though. Um, 
we're going to get there sooner or later. Once I find the phone. Phone, okay. Phone, 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 there you are. Right. So hunting down a comms tower is the next big deal. So if I don't have a comms tower, then I can't confirm at least five of the phones that I've confiscated. And I'm pretty sure they want them back fairly soon. Mm. Barracks entrance. I can get in from the top down in the barracks as well. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> But never mind. We can climb our way up and then keep climbing up. And then eventually find our way back down. <coughs> ah. Because I'm now sneaky, like a ninja. I can skip up loads of steps, I can just jump over everything that gets in my way. And I can hack computers that let me into the barracks without being a marshal. Uh, pyramids. Easy, easy. Easy, 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 easy. I'm much, uh, much more enjoying these puzzles than I was originally, but only because now I don't really struggle with them at all. Provided I don't misclick. It's Cosmos again. Start, start, start. And now, because the barracks haven't been investigated yet, we can figure out whether or not the people who, who were allegedly murdered are there. Unless I'm going to get into a battle now. I don't think there are any real-time fights in here, but... Never mind. I'm the investigator appointed by Judge. Irrelevant. These are martial grounds. I'll escort you out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to find a way in there. Well, I know, I got in. It's just a matter of not getting caught then. Well, I was honestly hoping for a little bit of a battle, but never mind. Uh, well. There are actually stealth segments in here, and I wasn't expecting there to be stealth missions. I thought being an investigator would just give you an all-access pass to make sure that the people who said that they weren't doing bad things weren't actually doing bad things. So now I've lost all faith in them. That's okay. Are you kidding me? The hell? How? I, I have a way in. How good is their... Why are they so sensitive? And also, you've done illegal things. I'm supposed to be checking. Not helping your own case. Ugh. Right. So now this time, no jumping down things, I guess. Come on. Jump over the ledge. Right, so no, down, no more jumping down onto things that I shouldn't be jumping down onto, I guess. I'll just have to do all of my checking from up here for some reason. Unless I can just do it from outside. No, because I'm right... Ah! found a way in, but how are you meant to get in and then also actually stay in there if they're just going to throw you out every time? That's such nonsense. Uh. We don't have to use the uh, mystery, uh, mystery sense anymore. 
it's one of the most tedious things about going through this was having to constantly press that every few seconds just to make sure that you no know, just to make sure i could see all of the secrets that were laid out i don't know why it wasn't just a toggle it didn't add anything by having to press it every few seconds nope another tape rack hmm. Right, so if I were a telecommunications tower, where would I be? I don't think I would want to be up on the roof of the, uh, what's it called, building? The syndicate building, but at the same time, where Shinji found the space helmet, pink petals, there aren't any flowers here, so where did they come from? Yuri, because that's obvious. But now, so long as I have the space helmet with me, I can actually go in and I can solve the puzzle, I think. Although that was part of the, that was part of the, what was it? The obelisks that had been raised. The obelisks were raised by Yuri, who had to raise them because they were part of the puzzle to get through the second seal. That's a lot of birds. That's a lot of blood. So the seal, uh, the obelisks were... I had all of this. Over here. Get up the bloody geography, stupid thing. Yuri, I'm gonna kick your ass soon. Okay, I did all this the other day and now I can't for the life of me remember how. Well, it's in services. Markers and places that help me actually remember things. But again, it's because I have a, a, a brain like a steel sieve. Hmm. No, wait. Now I remember where the comms tower is. It was the agriculture farm. Which means... Oh yeah. Okay, so the agriculture farm has the comms tower and the... There we go. Comms tower. And the obelisks are stored around the council building. But I need to actually find the location again. Because once it came out... I've already done you. Once it came out... It went back down and the panel hid itself again and you need to actually write down the password to make sure you know what it is you're doing. This tower can help you find and phone records. Witness's well, phone. Got the record. A call was made by a Kiko to Witness. Witness was in his apartment. We know that. But it says a Kiko was at the Syndicate HQ. That's weird. She told me she was at the desolation cell. She lied to me. Okay. So that's progress. Unknown number. It was dialed at midnight last night. The call picked up, but ended in under a second. Hmm. It might be innocuous. Probably isn't, though. This tower can help me scan phone records. Done. Okay. Okay, so that's a step forward, because if she was at the Syndicate Tower, so were the dead guards, or at least the guards who were protecting the Syndicate one of whom was meant to be her current lover slash boyfriend. And one of the boyfriends was alleged, well, both the guards were killed and she was defending him and saying that she was upset because her guards were dead. And again, one of whom 
was her then boyfriend so unless she was the one that killed him which is always possible but I'm starting to think now it's a conspiracy between the two of them which actually makes a little bit more sense but then again Yuri is also always guilty whenever it comes to things like this so now let's head over to the what is it council beach and she yacht looking for syndicate graveyard i'm looking for the the desolation cell there we go so i can go and speak to uh, akiko about her lies I might see if Henry has anything else to say as well, because I still need to get his password. Hi, Akiko. Case files. Your motive? Marshal expansion. What about you wanting to expand the roles of the marshals? Where have you pulled that from? You want exorcism to be a martial role. It makes sense. We hunt them. May it does well do the next step. Sounds to me like you're making a land grab to boost the importance of marshals. Believe what you want then, Orsito. But it's true. You're not denying anything. Alibi contradiction. Where did you say you were when, the, when you phoned witness? You make my life unbearable. It's my job, so... <laughs> I called him as I left the desolation cell. Well, I've been able to access your phone records. They say you were elsewhere. Then, Orsito. Where? Why didn't you tell me where you really were? I was here. How did you access that data? Running witnesses' phone through a comms tower? Esti Prost, you tried to trace back trace the position of an encrypted phone through a comms tower? Of course, the location is different. The encryption bounces the signal around. That's not how it works. I mean, uh, it's, you can't just take her word for it. That's not, you need, uh, I found a photo of you in his boat. I have nothing to say, Nen Archito. Do you two have a history? I said I have nothing to say, Nen Orchito. This is... It's all... I... I thought the whole point of getting this info was so that you could then make better judgments of things. And this isn't helping. It's always the same thing. It's just road blocking. Heat on the street is that you're trying to expand the responsibilities of the marshals. You wanted to fold exorcism to the duties of the marshals. Sure would be helpful if a demonic threat killed our exorcist. I should kill you for that ex uh, I should kill you for that accusation. Ten years ago, during Henry's exorcism, you left Grace bloodlines alone with him. Why are we talking about this, Nanorichito? How does this relate to the council murder? That's what I'm trying to find out. Yes, I made a mistake. It seems to be a pattern. Uh, I may as well hang out, just in case. Got a minute, Akiko? You're going to die. We know that. Humor me. Why do you hate me so much? I thought you were the investigation freak. It's not that hard to figure out. Uh, because I haven't put a bullet in Henry yet? That's part of it. Why isn't my evidence good enough? Why am I always questioned? Why does someone always know better? I have spent millennia protecting this island, and this is the thanks I get. Last night. You didn't protect it last night. We're done here. Goodbye. But hey, at least the relationship increased. Oh, good that did. May your night be bright, and you may you reach the moon. And Henry. We still need you. What can you tell me about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? I killed her, didn't I? You were found guilty of it. Then why the fuck are we talking? You know I did it. The truth. A guilty conviction and the truth are not the same thing. If I'm the suspect in so many crimes, I must be the bad guy, right? That's what I'm here to find out. So he doesn't actually remember it. That's important. And I may as well hang out. What now? What is it like living as a citizen on the island? Just swell. Non-stop praying and working. You were in school when you were possessed. We all get an education. Most of us don't need it. We're just going to put back to work down the cabins. Some get cushy office jobs, but the rest of us slave away. 
Maybe you fucks would resurrect your gods faster if any of us gave a sheep. Kidnapping and enslaving people isn't really isn't the way to get a crowd enthused about the prospect of reviving monsters from the other side of the cosmos. Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> I think I was subconsciously trying to slip into a, a Scouse accent there. I'm doing a very bad lister. Um, I'm just going to end up spending all my crystals trying to get through. But okay, so now we know that he doesn't remember, which means... I mean, it could also just mean that he was actually demonic possessed at the time and he blanked out. But that doesn't make sense because we also know, we found out last time, that when demonic possession happens, um, it just... it doesn't... It's not like a, a full possession. They don't suddenly lose control and it's like they just they get amplified. Their their willpower and their strength and everything. They are still themselves. They just get overwhelmed with emotion and and powers. So if he did actually do it, surely he would remember. So, I mean, we already know by now that there's loads of um, evidence pointing, you know, that it isn't actually him doing it, but... Mm, Syndicate Gardens. But the more we learn, the more we seem to find out that it's not really his fault. And next... Need to go and find this obelisk thing again. Because the obelisks were important and they held the password to the obelisks themselves. Which allowed us to gain entry into the first seal. Hey Terra, how you doing? What you been up to? Obelisk, 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 obelisk. Need an obelisk. Need an obelisk. Obelisk, obelisk, obelisk. It's not an obelisk, it's a phone. I hope work goes okay then. I hope you have a good day. And thanks for stopping by. But. Hmm. So trying to see if I need to look up another reference as to where the obelisk is. Because, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So it was thanks to uh, Yuna and Evie who did the art and the um, rigging respectively. Was it up there? Was it over there? Was it all the way up there? Could be any one of those. I do not remember. And I opened it the other day, but now, of course, I actually need to do it again. I've forgotten where I found it. And I really wish I'd made a note. But I thought, hey, it's just a big trio of great big statues. How difficult could it be to find? Forgetting, of course, that they'll slip back down into the ground. Until needed. Gross. But yeah, um, and my model has uh, some emotions too. So, I like the eyes change. I can't wait to use uh, this one with uh, Boyfriend Dungeon a hell of a lot. Or Dream Daddy. I still want to play more Dream Daddy. Screw it. Let's go see if I can get into the second seal just by wearing the space helmet and also 
bring in the code alone if I actually need. Bullisks. These look like the symbols I activated on the beach. If I remember correctly, the pattern was scholar, snake, bird, bull. Scholar, scholar, snake, bird, bull. Yay! Okay, that's it. I must have, it must have unlocked something. This was designed to safeguard against random attempts to crack the code. Was Shinji right? Did the demon possessing Henry feel its way through? One last kiss was our exorcist. She might be able to help. No, because it was Yuri, because Yuri accessed the obelisks. Or at least I'm assuming it was. That's my earliest guess. That's what I want to be true. I unlocked it. Well observed. The third holy seal. It looks like a bloodlock. Starlight can take a look. A bloodlock coded the council blood. To get through this, you need to have the blood of one of the council members in you. Or presumably a sample to trick the lock with. Who's blood logged in through here? All of the council expected. This lock has hardly been used since the start of the island. There's only a few instances of logins over the centuries. Every time the lock has been opened, it's been a gr as a group, the entire council. No exceptions, except for recently. There are two anomalies here. There's an unknown blood sample that logged in last night after all the council had entered meditation. Is that Kay's blood? Starlight doesn't recognise it. An unknown individual with council blood came through the lock last night while the council were meditating. How do we have an unknown suspect with council blood? Who else entered the hallowed ground? Henry's blood was used on this lock last night. Does that put him at the scene? No, that just means someone had a sample of his blood. How the hell did Henry's blood open the lock? He's a citizen, not a council member. And one of the council logged in two days ago, stayed for a few minutes and left. Kafka Memory. What was he doing in here without the rest of the council? I don't think I've heard of Kafka Memory yet. The blood chiller Sam had in his hidden distillery had a blood sample bottle with the letter K on it. The bottle was scrubbed clean, but it could very well be Kafka Memory's blood. If it was, that means Sam used it two days ago to open this blood lock. Was he setting up the crime? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need to check with Doom Jazz. Maybe a sample is missing. Okay. So that's helpful. In fact, that's pretty big progression. I, But I, I say that every time. But then, of course, you go to speak to these people. And then they're like, no, no, don't ask me. Eh, no idea. Uh, eh, don't know. Look elsewhere. Nah. Now I'm, now I'm excited. I want to see. I want to see their responses. Uh, and I want to see just how anx anxious or antsy they get. I still don't trust. I still um, trust Doom Jazz though, Doctor Doom Jazz, because I honestly don't think he has it in him to do anything bad. Although, how often do people say that? watching murder shows or excuse me murder mysteries or anything like that and only to find that yes the person that they trusted the most was actually the killer all along and in fact he didn't just kill the, the first person he's actually been a mass murderer for many years who is just a very gross individual in general like the guy who played um he was in third rock from the sun and also dexter and he played uh the Shrek Prince. I can't remember his name. Not the prince from the second one, but Farquaad. The guy who played Farquaad. Uh, wait a minute. Who played Farquaad? I forget his name. It wasn't John Delancey. Um, oh, crap. I'm sure people know who I'm talking about, but I can't remember his name. John Lithgow! That was it. Ah! Oh, well. I think I made it. Yay! Right. Doom Jazz, please give me some useful info that I can use towards Lydia and Sam. Because this is very important. Case files. Oh yeah, we can still ask you about um, Akiko as well. What's with the photo of Akiko in your boat? None of your business, investigator. But... 
I said none of your business. Leave it. Okay, well. Your examination of Grace bloodlines, because you know whether or not he was killed, she was killed by a demon. A nasty one for sure. Was there anything odd about the scene of the victim? Or the victim? You mean odd for a case of demonic possession? I didn't get to examine the scene for long. Akiko was in a rush to contain the area, and it was a pretty open and shut case. The markings on Grace were stranger though. In what way? Henry's other victim, his mother, had the same sigils scorched into her skin as Henry. Grace had those sigils, but they weren't scorched. They looked like they'd been carved with a blade. The demon inside Henry burns with a cosmic fire, and Henry's victims receive the same branding. So if he killed the council, they'd all carry the sigils? Depends on how he did it. I don't have a lot of evidence to support this, but I expect the sigils to only be scorched on victims he had sustained close contact with. A cut and run probably wouldn't do, but a strangulation would. I should mention that I would expect the inhibitors to prevent or limit the scorching of those sigils into the victims. So why would Grace's sigils cut into her? I wrote it off to the madness of demonic possession. We don't know a whole lot about this kind of thing, so I figured he carved them himself as some kind of ritual. I can't say for sure, though. Thanks for your help, Doc. Okay. More in more good stuff. I love it. Um, Council Blood. Doc, the third holy seal is a blood co lock coded to Council Blood. Makes sense. Who's got the Council Blood? Is this a trick question, Love Dies? Only the Council. What if that wasn't true? Are you asking if someone secretly has Council Blood? That's a stretch, Love Dies. What about you? Do you keep samples of Council Blood? I do for medical reasons. They're locked down, though. Could someone have taken one? They're under high security. Anything suspicious recently? Nope. Anyone been in your clinic who shouldn't be there recently? Nope. Although I did catch Sam in there. He was just picking up his prescription, though. Can you check that the council blood samples are all accounted for? Let me just pull up the inventory on my phone. Sorry, the app has taken ages. <laughs> what else is new? Hmm. That's odd. There's one missing, but the security alarm didn't go off. Whose sample is missing? Kafka Memories. Yes! This is good. This is progress at last. Love it. You love to see it. There's an anomaly with Kafka's login to the blood lock. This is bad love dice. You don't need to tell me. This puts you and or Sam at the scene. I had... Well, you heard him. A blood sample from your clinic was found on the seal. You found Sam snooping in your clinic. Mm, this isn't good. Maybe he took the sample and used it? Well, it sure as hell wasn't me. And what about your father? Why don't we know who's... Oh, Henry's father. Why don't we know who Henry's father is? You mean why he wasn't that tracked like every other birth? Yes, you're the doctor after all. When she gave birth, she said she didn't know who the father was. What about DNA? The test came up blank. Isn't that concerning? Very. Not a lot I can do, though. Why would a D DNA test come up blank? We missed someone and don't have them recorded. I don't think this is important, Love Dies. I'm not sure how this relates to the council murder. What if someone deliberately kept the birth a secret? Why would they do that? Someone having an affair they shouldn't be? It's a possibility, but they'd need some high-level clearance for that. Or access to you. That's quite the accusation, investigator. Okay, so we now also know there's a chance that one of the higher-ups, whether it was one of the dead people or one of the people on the new island... I mean, it could be Akiko, because she's wrapped up in all of this. So that would be very, very, very um, convenient for her. Because she... Well, I mean, obviously she would... Because they're all immortal on the council, anyway, um, it means that she could have long, you know, been there long, long before um, before uh, Henry's birth, and been the one to like to use him as a pawn in order to uh, have this whole chain of events work out. Because she knew eventually it was going to lead to this. Um, and now, Yuri, we're going to go find you. I'm going to go question your pedantic ass. 
Yes. It's files. Okay, Hex is missing. Boat trips. Why'd you shut the boats down? Boat trips down early, Yuri. What business is it of yours? You heard him. Just answer the question. It was part of shutting down the island, ready for the end. But why? It never normally happens and none of the other systems were shut down prematurely. Don't question how I do my job, freak. I had some security worries and shut it down. Did it have anything to do with a dead body at the bottom of the cliff? What dead body? I have no idea what you're talking about, but surely this is the jurisdiction of the marshals? You're supposed to be investigating the council murder. It might be linked. Did you have anything to do with it? Definitely not, freak. A lot of bad coincidences, then? Must be. We also know that he... Oh, because I, I read a thing whilst I was looking around. Um, he is responsible for... Um, he was... Uh, communicating with gods in this is bad. That's like a criminal offence or something. Um, that's why Love Dies was locked up for millennia. A millennia. And Yuri himself used to be a wimpy little freak, a little wimpy brat, um, a very weakly intellected, uh, a very unintelligent one at that. So, and not nearly this sculpted either. Look at those apps. Um, so yeah, when uh, he, he made a deal with this specific god, whose name I forget, who can basically give perfect form, perfect physique, and that's what I assume uh, has happened. So he is at least guilty of conversing and consorting. Consorting? I think. With a god. You use the key. Yuri, let's rap for a second. Rap? You put a key in the nightmare computer connected to the obelisks on the beach and activated them. What are you talking about? You did. I've got the logs. Don't worry, someone else accessed them, but they were more intelligent than you and used a wireless access device. <laughs> more intelligent? The insects on this island can barely tie their shoelaces, let alone figure out the symbols on the obelisks in space. Thanks, Yuri. For what? You just told me about the symbols on the obelisks, which I didn't ask about, and only you and you'd only know if you how if you use them. Yeah, hi, you red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, technically, he did start off as an Undertale OC. He was supposed to be a character that was, like, just a panda in a jacket that played a lot of card games. But then the um, the heart and everything ended up being... Even though it's a nice little Undertale thing, it was actually just, you know, like the heart suit from cards. And I just liked the jacket because it just sort of rounded out the character a bit. But, yeah, I'm happy with how he's turned out. Or how I've turned out. I mean, yeah. I can even do this. A little bit. Well, okay, crying isn't the best example, but... I can get angry and my eyes change. Rah. And then blush, and I get heart eyes. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. It's all thanks to Yuna and Evie, who did the art and the rigging, respectively. Um, where did you get the key for ac from to access the obelisks? I have no idea what you're talking about, freak. Yeah, is it bad loud or is it okay loud? Because uh, I'm a little bit worried. Oh, thanks, Saras. Heya. Thanks for following. Welcome to the casino. There was a murder going on. Well, it has been going on, has been done. I'm solving it because I am the crime solving panda tonight. <laughs> oh, right. I should probably turn that down then. Yeah, I was a bit worried about that, but unfortunately my mic seems to get really hypersensitive. And annoyingly, I can't seem to shut that down without completely turning off the gain. It just goes hypersensitive for a while. Anyway. Um, actually, whilst I'm figuring that out. 
might just see if I can change that. Oh yeah, jeez. Let me, nah, it's gone too quiet, hasn't it? Or is it too quiet or is that okay? Because the gain, um, for some reason on my PC, the gain makes my mic extremely loud. And then it just turns super hypersensitive. And it's really annoying because there's no way to get it even. If you know what I mean. Anyway. <laughs> what? Oh, don't hold out on me, Yuri. I know you. I know you know the secret of the second seal. I have nothing else to say. Who opened the third seal? So far, it's looking like Lady Ear and Sam, or at least Sam. Do you know anything about the third holy seal? Of course not. They're a mystery. Stop wasting time. Well, that's fine then. Because we can go and now check out Sam at his uh, bar, I guess. And then once I'm there, we'll have plenty new information to take to him and call him out on. And on top of that, Wait. Just have to do a lot of climbing, exploring, but at least I've done most of it. Plus, air dashing is so cool. Uh, Sam, you're over there. Okay. Come to your skelly buddy. All the way up there, okay. I should have downloaded ah, I should have downloaded the OST to this. Because I really like the music. Okay, Sam, I'm going to break your skelly butt. Metaphorically. Who opened the third seal, Sam? You're the only one with the blood. What were you doing in Doom Jazz's clinic, Sam? What do you mean, investigator? Doom Jazz told me he'd seen you sneaking around his clinic. We must all be deliberate with words, mustn't we? The wrong word choice can darken truth and cast a false light on conspiracy, can't it? I have a prescription I need to get from the doctor. Sure. Prescription? After Lydia killed me on the battlefield and my body refused to die, I lived on in this form. I think it suits me, don't you? I think he's definitely one of the most stylish skeletons I've ever met. Unfortunately, it has become quite debilitating. A few sequences ago, I began to require regular blood infusion. Sure, how that works. Blood source. Where do you get the blood? It's all ethically sourced from Doom Jazz and approved by the council. Every citizen lets blood as part of their worship, and some of that comes my way. Helping the syndicate is helping the gods, right? Please check with Doom Jazz, he'll corroborate my story. So, if you and Lydia want to get out of the syndicate, what's the plan for sourcing blood? There are a lot of blood banks out there, LD. I'm not going to start killing, am I? You didn't happen to break into a secure container and take a vial of council blood, did you? That's not something I would do, is it? Why would I need to do that? 
It would be if you were trying to breach the Holy Seals. Are you accusing me, Eldine? We'll see. Know anything about an unauthorised distillery in the Dead Zone? Ah. The Dead Zone has an aura. The structure of the island is corrupted there. It gives whiskey a unique taste. Surely the whiskey is tainted as well? It's quad filtered. Flavour is there, but the taint is removed. It's clean. You should try some. I know it's illegal, but how many times do you get to have whiskey blended in a demonic hot zone? I needed to know. You understand, right? I found a chiller containing a blood vial at your little distillery. What? What chiller? Don't test me. Why is the label scratched off? That's not my business, is it? The vial came from Doom Jazz, didn't it? No, because... The doctor? It's for my prescription. The blood vial in your chiller has the letter K on the label where first name would be. Is this a fact? Kafka Memory's blood sample is missing from Doom Jazz's clinic and you were seen snooping in there. What? Is there an accusation anywhere in there, LD? Do you know what the Holy Seals are? They are a secret, aren't they? How would I know? One is a bloodlock. Several days ago, that bloodlock was opened by Kafka Memory. I'm sure a council member had business in the council building, didn't they? Montserrat decided the council should only ever enter the penthouse as a group. I think you used that blood sample to gain access to the penthouse. Why would I do that? Are you denying it? Of course I am. I didn't know what the third seal was until just now, did I? I never said it was the third seal. You did, didn't you? No, I was careful not to. Thanks, Sammy. Oh, snap! Hee hee hee. Well, <laughs> we'll still get a drink. Yes. Is night alone okay again? Neat this time. Oh, how awkward to be having a drink with the person who has just fingered you for the actual criminal. Or one of the big criminals given that he now has basically confirmed that he is the one who took the bait or who uh, went in and did all the bad things. Like possibly killing someone. At least I'm hoping. Whatever you recommend. The ice ball you had last time allowed you to savour it for longer, but it was chilled. The colder the drink, the less you can taste it. I hope you'll enjoy the pure taste of this blend. It's delicious. What are you blending on this island? Night alone at the Vortex blend. Maybe you could try it next time? No single malts? Blended whiskey requires a fusion of single malts, but on this island I have focused on serving blended instead of single malts. It is important to practice all areas of your repertoire, isn't it? Mm, what's Lydia's drink? I'm curious, just in case I ever need to, you know, take her out for the night just in case a certain skeletal boyfriend of hers should be uh, imprisoned. She enjoys a drink while she paints. She chooses something appropriate to her piece. She enjoys all different ways of serving. A lot like you, right, LD? <laughs> There's something to be enjoyed in everything. What about the next island? It is important to breed the new island in. Learn about it, a craft to drink that can only be born on that island. Not sure what he was trying to say there. The islands give the drink so much character, don't they? If we make it to the next island. I've got to go, Sam. I'll catch you later. Okay. May you always live in the shadow. May you reach the moon. Okay. So that's a good, good, good hint. Um, the fourth Holy Seal is a mystery. How is the final barrier for the camp? Half breached. Marsh barracks are restricted. I need to get in there. Why did Lydia have a message about obelisks on the beach? Safe from Henry Descartes apartment I can't get to. One last kiss I need to search behind contrivances. There's an area of suspiciously looking weak ground. I don't have the tool for that yet. Where was the obelisk nightmare computer remotely accessed from? It needs to be somewhere with the line of sight to the obelisks. Um, to ask about the blood infusions. We should go and get the information about Grace Bloodline's motive from Scarlet. Um, 
Oh, and that was what I was looking for. It was, her, it was the statue in the barracks. And hopefully... I like this song especially. It reminds me of another one that has a similar beat. And I can't remember what the name of it is. Oof. It's just a very slow sort of clapping intro and then it gets a bit more swingy. Um, right, so... Yes, I can buy information from you, Scarlet. And that would be useful because that was the last piece of info that I needed. Oh, oh crutch. And once I have that, I should have everything that I needed to buy from you. Aside from the skins, but I don't really want to buy the skins because honestly nobody needs skins. Now this is an achievement involved, but I'm not really all that bothered about achievements in the game anyway. lives right next to a speaker. Okay. Crimson Acid. She's still hot, if you ask me. Uh, case files. Doom Jazz's motive. The first photo of a Kiko. Why does Doom Jazz have a photo of a Kiko? Got to pay, lady. Yes. He was in a relationship. He still loves her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. It didn't work out. She can't relate to people who aren't soldiers and he can't keep his dick in his pants. That makes sense. What about your past? Personal experience? You'll want to talk. Hey. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't throw stones in glass houses. Why does that give him motive for the council murder? The, origi the original secret. Montserrat was planning on doing a similar operation that got Doom Jazz's father killed. A suicide mission for Akiko. Doom Jazz found out. So he killed the council to protect her? Wouldn't you kill a bureaucrat to save the person you love? Uh, if only. Witnesses alibi. Phone number trace. Any idea how I can trace down a phone number? I have my ways. I can run a search for you. There's a service charge. Yes. Take my credits, please. Give me answers. I need them badly. What's the number? Yep. Let's see. Nothing. That number isn't registered to a phone on this island. You sure? There's no record. Oh, hang on. You're right. I was wrong. Turns out I can't read and I can't do a simple phone number search, which I've done a thousand times already. Good thing you checked. Fair enough. Sorry. Doubt is a force of habit. Is there anything else that could have a phone number attached to it? I'm going to need to go looking. Ah, I paid for nothing. I hope she gives me a refund, or at least doesn't, like, charge me for the next one I do. One Last Kiss. Do you know anything about One Last Kiss? Is that her name? She's good at hiding herself, but I've seen her. Do you know who she is? I think it's some kind of spirit. I don't know who she was in her former life, though. What do you know about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? Ha, ah, that makes sense. I have got something good. Are you buying? Yes! Nice crystals. Do you think it's strange that Carmelina went to the exorcism? A little bit. Seems like a dangerous situation for the architect. Very. There was a reason, though. Some syndicate members use encryption and messages to each other. There's a lot of politics and scheming on this island, on the islands, after all. I monitor any communications that I can. Network traffic's mostly boring, but sometimes someone forgets to encrypt something. While Carmeline was heading to Henry's apartment with Grace, she messaged Akiko and told her to step out of the room while Grace was doing the exorcism. What? A so-called lapse in procedure was planned. Sure was, lady. Sounds like a plot to me. Uh, My work is never done. Ooh, Have you got a copy of this message? Uh-huh. They realised the mistake and scrubbed their phones afterwards, so they don't expect to be able to confirm this with their phones. Nice. Besides, it was ten years ago. Everyone got a Master Hero upgrade since then. Okay. And... Ooh, Henry's father! Any project that relates to Henry's father? Digging in the past, lady? Is there truth in the mists of time? An investigator investigates the third holy seal is a bloodlock that requires council blood. I need to know where Henry got that blood from. Henry's father is an odd one, isn't it? The syndicate control this island. The citizens monitored like cattle. This slipped through, though. 
I've been trying to find out the answer myself. I don't like unknowns. I haven't got much, but I do have something to sell. I think you owe me from the lack of a phone number, but nice doing business with you. I've got records of some private financial transactions between Wiener Division and Ayes Kiwami. What kind of transactions? Ayes was giving her money. Henry was born 27 years ago, right? These transactions date back to 27 years and 5 months ago. And? I thought you were an investigator. Why would a powerful councilman be giving personal money in secretive transactions to a female citizen five months before her only child was born? Oh. So, um, what's the word for that? Uh, oh, I don't remember. What is the word for that? Uh, alimo no, not alimony. Um, crap, what is it? Uh, child support, I guess, but I'm sure there's a word for it. Maintenance? Child maintenance? Do you know anything about how the council enter the penthouse? If I knew the secrets of the seals, you wouldn't be doing this dance. I don't mean the seals, I mean how do they go in and out frequently? Are they in there every day? The penthouse is reserved for special business. It takes a lot to get the council in there. Big building to hardly ever be used. Montserrat loves his concrete. He wanted something large and imposing. Something to reach to the heavens without the audacity of Babylon. Why not build it on the mountain if he wants to reach to the heavens? The mountain is preserved for holy grounds. The temple is carved into it. You don't argue with the high priestess. Anyway, Montserrat decided that the council would only enter the penthouse together. His paranoia was grown unabated. Did you know he always carried a gun? The old Montserrat never used to do that. So it would be weird if I have evidence of a council member entering by themselves two days before the murder. If a council member did, they'd be going directly against our leader. Risky move. None of us are privy to everything that happens with the council, so I can't say for sure. I haven't heard anything about council members disobeying him, though. If that's the evidence you've got, something is definitely suspicious. Hey, and this is probably going to be useless. Do you know anything? I know that it will cost you. Ooh. Nice doing business. It's a bloodlock. Oh, I know that. I have my ways. Someone let it slip. Who? Eyes Kawam. What made him tell you? That will always be my secret. Who else knows? Who can say? May the gods carry him through the cosmos, but he was easy to manipulate. He had a weakness for women and easily gave into cosmic fear. Who knows who talks to who on this island? Who knows what secret meetings happen in quiet rooms? Who knows what gets said when someone has the fear of gods put into them? Well, that narrows it down. Yeah. Uh, you don't have any upgrades, do you? No. Um, but hang out, because... I think if we can get just a little bit further, we might get new info. Why is no one else blessed? The gods work in mysterious... There are a lot of spelling mistakes happen, or not, but grammar mistakes and added words or missing words. Getting a lot more of those the further we get into the story. The gods work in mysterious ways. Depends on who catches their eye. What do you really want to talk about? You're not here to shoot not here to shoot the breeze about divine blessings. I can see it in your eyes. Can I ask you about Isaiah? <laughs> I was wondering when we get to the ex-husband topic. What do you want to know? What's he doing now? He's still responsible for the citizen management. Abduction, reconditioning, distribution. Did he ever forgive me? For what? I think so. Took him a while. He trusted you implicitly. You know that. Your deception by damned harmony upended his world. Who knows? Not just your crime, but the faith he put in you. We all believed in the great Lady Loved Eyes, the investigation freak of the Syndicate. No one believed in you as much as Isaiah did. The shock of the damned harmony incident was realising that if you can be deceived by God, any of us can. My arrogance! No one was more surprised than me. I thought I was untouchable. I can believe it. To answer your question, he did forgive you. All the old drinking gang did. You need to know, though, these with Madam Complex now. Sorry. I wasn't planning on chasing after him. I destroyed his life once already. He's on the next island, one of Lydia's first pickups last night. Not a lot for the citizen manager to do once the slaughter is completed. Sorry. I'm glad he's not a suspect. Time to move on, lady. Understood. Okay. You got it wrong. Ooh, here we go. Probe! 
My favourite kind of probing. Do you have something you want to tell the investigator? What do you mean? I told you about the key from the Hex. I didn't tell you about another part of the story. I've been worried about what's going on, but you need to know. I seduced Kehex for my own interest, but someone else asked me to do it as well. Who? Witness. Dun dun dun. Why? He wanted the key. I don't know why he asked. I don't know why, but he asked for it. He wanted it modified for remote access. A dongle could be placed in the control panel and then used to remotely access it. The obelisks. It needed the line of sight, though. That amount of data could easily drop packets if the signal was blocked. Did you give it to him? Yes. Why? He promised to help me. With what? He said he had a plan for the next island that would allow me to keep my freedom and allow me to return to active service. Crimson. I know. I didn't expect it to be this. If, it, if this was him. This is the truth. Yes. I've got some work to do. Okay. Right then. The only other thing I think I still need to do is get into the top of the Syndicate building, which is all the way up there. And I do not for the life of me remember how to get up there. At least I think that's right. Because we can't get into the Paradise place yet, but getting over there would be, well, would make things much easier. If that is correct. I don't know any boats or anything around that I can use to get over there, so maybe I'm wrong. But in which case, where was I before? That I allowed to get in through the top? Or that allowed me to get in through the top? It wasn't actually the thingy building, after all. It wasn't the... What was that building called? Um, it wasn't the barracks that I was thinking of. This was a really high building. It's a really, really high building. Let's... So it wasn't the council building, because the council building is where the original murder took place, but I was somewhere way, way different. It was the Syndicate HQ. to get into one of these things one way or the other so if this is the Syndicate HQ then hmm. I've been here more than enough times to know that there was a way in from the bottom a way in from the top I found another entrance in through another area altogether. Unless I just had to scale higher. Which is equally possible. I'm pretty sure it wasn't anything to do with this building. But in which case I can't remember what building it actually was that I got into. I just know I climbed really high. I just don't know how I would have gotten over there if it... But maybe I did just run along and then somehow got over to there. No, because that's, um, that's the demon isle thing. That's where Henry is being kept. That's the golden palace. Ah, shit. Oh damn. It definitely wasn't over there. I think that was a nice view as well. It must have, I'm sure it was that building, because it was really high up. It was the highest place that I'd managed to get to on the island. But there's no way over to it that I can see. Seems like the other wish hater was here.
So where am I? Where am I comparatively? Yep, yep, yep. So I'm there. That's the council building. That's where I was. That's the Marshall Barracks, which I'm not actually at yet. But that is where... Um, no, because I've been there as well. Don't need to go to Kex's workshop. And I don't have any access over there either. <laughs> hmm. Now I am confused. one area but the council building is the thing where I mean it says that um, the council building is the crime scene so that's where all the blood and stuff was all over the slope leading up it's where the guards were murdered but I'm sure I managed to get into the top of this and I'm sure it had nothing to do with the entrance that I was trying to get into before now I'm just wondering if I just imagined it all, or if I'm just getting everything mixed up, because I spent so long travelling the other day. I spent so long running around trying to find everything, and I found so many different things. But I could have found just about anything, and I still wouldn't remember which was which. Definitely not the Golden Domes, because that's where the slaughter takes place. It was over there. It was over there. I'm sure it was. It was like the top of the roof there. But I don't remember how I got in there. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, it was over there. It was that. It was that. Uh, well, this is awkward. Okay, yeah. So it was definitely this. It was this building here after all. I just need to actually get up there and find my way in. So I found it. I just need to get up and along those great big golden stairs and then I can get right into the top and I can go down from the top and it won't be the same route as it was um, that I got in or that it wasn't the same thing that was next to the second sealed doors. It was a different way in. I need to make sure I find the right stairs. Okay. Stairs are over there. Now I am ready. I am not ready. Where'd the stairs go? Where'd the stairs go? Not the stairs. Wait, are those the stairs? I run past the stairs? I guess I did. No, way past the stairs. I think. There we go! Completely different direction. I just kept thinking the stairs were moving all the time. I thought they were hiding from me. And the brain is feeling very small today. Low energy. Just a consistent. So these are the actual gardens of this tower, I think. Keep climbing. And all the way over here. 
something over there to look at as well. Then I remember being able to get all the way to the top. Yes, so here we go. So this looks like a good place. Tie marks. Lydia is the only one on an island, on this island with a car. From this roof, someone could try to gain access to the building without going through the front door. We're still on the roof of the penthouse. And then there was a way up to the top here, if I recall correctly. Otherwise, I could just be entirely wrong, and still, I could just be thinking of the other thing again. But I'm sure I remember. It can't have been that then. I can't have gotten over there. But I'm sure I got all the way to the top of this. Or at least found something that I could use as an entry point. Shut up. Stupid thing. There we go. Right. <laughs> eh. I'm still certain. I'm still certain. I'm so sure I got into the roof of something that I wasn't supposed to be getting inside of. I'm sure it was that. I just don't know how I would have gotten in there. So I must have just imagined it. I must have been thinking of the, um, the barracks instead. That I could not actually get into because the guards keep tossing me out. Good view though. Um, well, maybe it was that. Maybe it was somehow just a lot more things to explore. Ah. Maybe it was because I jumped from one of the higher places over here and then got down there. Hmm. Yeah, I've checked this already. Oh, but this is where I found out about um, about Yuri making a deal with the gods. With the god, rather. So that's how I know that he is suspicious from the get-go, even before he used the obelisk. And we called him out on it. But now, I have to go and see Lydia again. And I also need to make a better job of figuring out how to get in here without being spotted. Although I like how I can just jump around on the uh, platform out here and not get called out for it. But even then, if I can't get in and start examining things, it doesn't mean very much. That was it. I keep getting lost and then realising I don't know where I'm going. Although I've completely lost track of where I was trying to go in the first place. I'm too scatterbrained. It's a shame I can't just take my gun and just shoot them while I'm here. Pretty sure that if I go anywhere they're going to spot me because it seems like it doesn't matter whether I hop down onto a thing or even if I hopped over to this other platform over here they still spotted me unless I can I just I don't know which direction they look they're always looking at me so it's not like I can actually hide from them effectively at least not as far as I know because of just because of the way the game works go down and get kicked out again. 
where I can just. Ah! God damn it! I don't like this either. It's getting on my bloody nerves. Stay out, freak. I have a bad feeling about Stupid this. bloody. Okay, so think. Thank you, Yuna. You've done a very good job. Really good job. I mean, look at my ears. Hmm. I feel very, very active. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You did a very good job. So, I'm very pleased with it. You should be proud. It's done amazing. Uh, yeah, so Marshall Barracks. Um... There's no costumes. Okay. I think I might have an idea. But it's nothing to do with this though. But, I mean, if we go down to, it's not like the dead zone, because the dead zone is connected, the dead zone being the uh, map, there is no map, oh uh, wait, map, 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 there we go, yeah, so the dead zone is actually connected to the barracks, which are here. And they have a responsibility to shut down any and all demonic activity or issues that might come out, might come up when demonic presence is noticed. And unfortunately for them, I think we might be able to figure something out that triggers some of that demonic presence. As long as I can, whoop, as long as I can actually get over there, over, over, dead zone, dead zone, dead zone. Are we over the dead zone already? There's a way to get there from Sam's place, and now I've forgotten it. No, wait, there we go. Dead zone, that crumbled little pile of stuff. Oof. I've already emptied you. Yes, so we get into the dead zone and we look around to see if there's anything we can interfere with in there. Because they are for some reason super paranoid about demon possession. But it requires all of the computer components, which thankfully I got last time. Thanks to some frequent visiting of vending machines. Well, I've not been up here yet either, I think. Also, I don't know what the, what the actual syndicate notes are. Those things. Um, oh wait, this is just a, a pathway to Sam's bar, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so let's go and check out Sam's bar again. Because Sam's bar might actually have the path that I need. And then, nope, not talking to you, Sam. You're a criminal. You've done things that you should not be proud of, and I called you out on them, and you lied to me, and then, when I told you, well, when I gave you the definitive proof, I shouldn't be locked anymore. Oh. 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 Oh.
I've already checked in here, so I know that this is the room where... Yeah. Ah, wait, I didn't unlock it. Ha! So I didn't check this place. I thought I had. Ooh, worship. Uh, that guy has some severe spinal trauma and leg trauma. Okay, maybe these ones going to be a little bit harder then. Yeesh. Uh, which ones? I want to say that one, but... Yeesh. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, is that what that is? Does it use... I think it uses different parts from different puzzles. I think. Is that what's that doing? No. No way. Oh no, this is going to have me stuck. This isn't fair. Crap. Um. Oh my god. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I've got that, and that I know is... I mean, that looks good enough to me. But where the hell does all the other stuff come into it? I think I see a horn in there. But... I don't even know. I don't know what I'm looking at. I mean, it just looks like a person, but... It's like every single... Item from all the others has been thrown into it. And there's no way to actually choose different parts that maybe don't fit into it. It's not an upside down pyramid either. I cannot make that out. This is going to be an hour long pyramid bloody puzzle god seriously if anyone has any suggestions i am all ears because i cannot make this out but i am happy no i'm not i'm not happy to do that one either uh screw it I'd much rather just do this one oh how do you make that out of these things? Is it abstract? No, wait, that's the arms. There's the legs. And then... Oh, it's, a, it's abstract. Okay, that makes more sense. It's just one big abstract puzzle. I think. Um, still doesn't solve the head, though. Really? Really? That was the puzzle? Really? That didn't make any sense to me. I don't... I... That, to me, was too abstract. I was expecting something a lot more literal. That just looked like nonsense. So I'm still got a pair of pile bunker gauntlets kicking around. Once an assassin, always an assassin, I guess. They're well used. Looks like they only have one charge left in them. They'll probably come in handy. I'll borrow them for a bit. Okay, they can be used to smash the dirt pile. A little bit of dirt that was on a cliff someplace, and now I have to find that. I think it's around here because it makes sense it would be within a very close radius. I'm just not sure exactly where. Oh, but there is a crystal. Ooh, and stuff I hadn't seen up here. Just unlock you. Oh, no. Oh, well, we'll do that later. So, okay. Computer controls, control. Yes, here we go. 
Opening this should send the marshals near a panic. I might be able to get to the barracks without being seen in the chaos. Well, that was lucky because I wasn't sure where to find it, but... Um, man, this works so much better now. And I've also found the power... That, that was all a happy accident. So now I don't need to worry so much about trying to find the... Um, trying to find the pile of dirt or whatever that I was meant to be looking for originally. And let's face it, is a pile of dirt really going to change all that much? Compared to being able to get into the barracks and the bunkers? Um, sure I like that. Wait, there we go. I think. Yes, okay. So yeah, now we can actually get into the barracks because everyone will be freaking out and pissing off everywhere else. If I was venting gas from the corrupted zone, it should set off the demonic detection systems. I'm sure the marshals will be running out of the barracks any moment now. Cool. So I'll worry about the pile of dirt later that I have to take away. And I will go back to the mar to the uh, the marshals barracks and then figure out whether or not they're missing because there's obviously something hidden in there because they were constantly barking at me to get out and because Akiko herself wouldn't allow me in. And from there, it should hopefully be that much easier. We might actually get somewhere without being cut off constantly. But saying that, we have also figured out now that Sam and Lydia both are suspicious because Sam's the one that did all the stuff with the blood and he stole the blood and... We know that um, uh, Yuri made a deal with the gods, which was forbidden, and he's also the one that triggered the first seal. No, the second seal. And he had a... he was the one that left a space helmet behind. Nope, I've gone entirely the wrong way. Uh, phone. Back to the Marshal's barracks. So yeah, we now know that Yuri... Yuri is the one that made deal with the gods and he was the one that opened the first um bleh. he opened the first the second seal maybe opened the first seal because it was just a single door and watch the barracks no i don't have a place for that yet i'll just go to council building because it's no, syndicate hq barracks entrance because it's the closest thing anyway yeah so yuri here we go so I wonder what the difference is between that and the other one. Um, so yeah, Yuri made a deal with the gods and also he was the one responsible for um, opening up the second seal. Lydia left her car on the roof of the building, of one of the buildings, which was important because she's the only one with a car. And also it means that she must have given Sam, who had the blood vial, a quick way in because... Um, he was the one that was seen stealing blood from another room and he also slipped up and ad admitted that he was at the third seal which required the blood file. Nice. We're now free. Let's see what's in here. Nightmare computer. You're going to be another complicated one, aren't you? Well, no, you're not. Okay. You're a pretty simple one, comparatively. Uh... And little baby horns. And then big star, the big moon, uh, the babyish star, big horns, a big goat. No, it's not a big goat. It's just goat. Where's it goat? Goat and goat. No, it's not a goat. It's not the right goat. Still not the right goat. Oh no, that's the goat, because it's the goat face, and then it's just big horns attached. So, big horn, and big horn. I keep thinking those are ears. Um, and then the three moons. Moon, moon, moon. And then we've got it. Let's see what you've got for us. Security file and a suspicious looking folder that's outside the main martial file. Starlight can crack the security. Some records about prisoner transfers that stand out. Akiko removed two prisoners that are accounted for, unaccounted for a day before the murder. Two prisoners who were found at the marsh, uh, the guy, gate to the council headquarters where they were murdered. I think I'm getting all the places mixed up, but 
I know what I'm talking about anyway. Where the bloodstains are found and where the council seals were. And we know that the two guards that were on duty were not actually the guards on duty because they weren't the same DNA. It wasn't the same blood. So I got me into the into the martial service. If Akika finds out, I'm not sure how long my head will stay on my shoulders. It's her fault for hiding evidence. That would be a criminal offence. This file is encrypted and outside of the normal folder structure. Sorry. It's a photo of a strangled woman. Uh, my job is a never-ending joy. The metadata says this came from a folder called Grace Bloodlines. Yes! I hang on to this. A photo of Grace Bloodlines' neck from our examination. Looking closely, you can see bruising around her throat. The marks aren't uniform. This is an area of more pressure. Sure. There are prisoner transport records, as well as the desolation cell. There's a prisoner prison within these barracks for the non-possessed, non-demon possessed prisoners. Looks like Akiko removed two prisoners two days ago. There's no record of them being brought back to the prison because they were murdered by Akiko. That makes so much more sense now. And of course, we've got to go and talk to her about it. Otherwise, we won't actually know for sure. But if we don't talk to her, or if we tell her, will she try and kill us? That's another question. Will she kill me in order to hide the dirty deeds? A lot of water flowing. Um, uh, oh yes, the statue. We also need to check out the statue because Henry mentioned it when we were interrogating him. Nothing in here, really? Uh, yes. So we should uh, donate blood. So a goat. What do we get? A carving detailing the god New Knight. A humanoid with two heads. A warrior clad in gold armor. Carries a spear, sword, and shield. Based her forces in Romania. Then can I get in here? Yes! What's in here? Do at least the barracks. A secure tunnel to the desolation cell that where Henry is incarcerated. It's coded only to Akiko's blood vial. I wonder if that means I could get um, Dr. Doom Jazz to give me a blood vial. New Knight, the Holy Warrior, the slaughterer of the chained star system. New Knight is an arrogant goddess that only deems soldiers worthy of her attention. The syndicate got superstitious after any statues were outside the martial ground but destroyed by red lightning on the fifth island. Since then, there has only ever been one statue of Renner on each island. Henry says he remembers seeing New Knight last night. Did he come past the statue? If he did, it means he came through the barracks. This is the only one on the island. So that doesn't make sense. This means Henry took a different route to the council building. That's Which route did he actually take? Okay. So now I think we have plenty of evidence that we can use to go and approach people. So I'm going to keep on looking at all these other places as well, just in case. But it doesn't look like anything interesting is in here. Unless there's going to be another... Ooh. Prisoner processing themselves. My blood vial has been authorised for this door. I doubt Kiko will allow that. I wonder if I could go and then speak to Judgment, who would give me access to more of this stuff. Barracks are sealed. Oh, okay, so I have to go back out through the roof. I think. Nah, okay. Armoury hasn't been, hasn't been assigned to that. Can't go through there, so yes, back up the stairs. Oh, wait a minute. Martial quarters, test hall, and training hall. Blood vials have been authorised. Okay. Unless we can go there into a, letting us go into all these places. Which would work well for me, because I still want more places to explore. But I think with the evidence we have that's mounting up so far, I think we're doing pretty well. We can go and speak to witness at the end, who had a weird phone call. Though he won't know the number, he won't give us the number. Because that would be too easy. Or he'll lie about the number, one of the two. But we now also know that Henry wasn't actually in here. Or rather, he came through here, which means that if anything, there's a good chance he was dragged through. What? Why is it raining? Oh, is it, oh, it's the demonic, demonic possession, I guess. The demonic, um, demonic fluid or whatever was pumped out of the 
building. There are loads more people I could speak to now, but I also want to try and find the um, the device that was used by oh, what was his name? By witness to the end, there was a device used by witness of the end to the end that would give him the ability to send a signal. Ooh, might as well grab that. It would allow him to send a signal of no a noise signal towards Henry, according to what was it? Murder of Grace Bloodlines. Um, KX is missing. Who opened the third seal? Henry's escape. Akiko. And that's not true. Uh, give me a second. Right. Yeah, and we can't get into there yet because uh, he's not given us the passcode. But whatever is in there might actually. Hey, Shinji. Ah, no, that wasn't. That was a bad jump. I slipped on the geography. Okay, so we can go and speak to Lydia. We can go and speak to. We don't really need to speak to Sam, but Lydia is an important person to speak to. Um, I always end up back down here for some reason. Oh, but there's this puzzle still to do. Don't know what that means. I need to figure out the right combination of switches so that the crane will empty the boat. Um, how far along does the boat need to be? How far along does the boat need to be in order to... Seems like the boat needs to be out much further than that. Then again, maybe I just don't know how boats and trains work. Is here. Um. Got it. Can you not just... There we go. Ooh, almost, 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 almost. Not too far. I was never any good at crane games as a kid. Ooh, come on, say it. No, you were doing so well there and then you just sped along. Yeesh. Oh, so close. So close. Got it. No, going out the door. Oh, fine then. Uh, tell you what, because this is probably going to be another blood puzzle thing, a blood crystal puzzle. I might leave that for now and look it up and go back to it. But we have got bigger things to do. And I should stick to that instead of getting distracted by shiny things, like skulls. I should pay attention to trying to take out both Akiko and Lydia. It's a shame. I hope Lydia didn't actually do it, because I like Lydia, and she's like one of my friends. But I should know better than that, given, uh, given I like mystery things quite a bit like castle and grim and I'm not a big fan of csi actually i've never been a fan of csi or anything like that dexter as well i guess the early seasons um go to the demon isle because that's not far from lydia from what i remember so I can go there and then just pretty easily. Yes. Let's get. Okay. 
So yeah, we'll speak to Lydia, or we'll speak to Akiko and Henry, and then we'll go back to speak to Aki uh, to Lydia, and then Witness should have more info. You were pissed at me. You do want something. Uh, who killed the Holy Seal Marshals? You removed prisoners. And I remember saying that those prisoners, uh, those guards were not actually the guards that were meant to be guarding. They were imposters. What happened with the prisoners you removed from the back at barracks prison? It's classified, Nenorichito. I disagree. Why were they removed? Investigator, they were being processed before the slaughter ritual. We don't just open the prison gates and let them wander over to the temple. They were removed before the slaughter ritual. What happened to them? They were processed, then returned to their cells. The logs don't show them being returned. You don't have access to the full martial network, so you can't prove that. You also don't get to question how I run my army. That's, that's the worst excuse! By this point, I should just be allowed to take my judgment gun and shoot every single person who's just willingly not letting me do a full examination. Demonic sigils. What can you tell me about demonic sigils on Grace's body? The same as found on Henry's mother. Sure. I've been told they weren't. Rena Division sigils were scorched onto her by the sustained pro close proximity to Henry. Grace's were carved into her flesh. Got any proof, Nenorichito? <laughs> no solid proof, just a good bit of testimony. Were you carrying a blade when you arrested Henry? Of course, I always carry my sword and a combat knife. Did you find a blade on Henry when you arrested him or after he had killed Grace? No. So how did the sigils get carved into her body? No idea, Nenorichito. Demons? Thanks for the insight, Akiko. The same blade that was used to carve the throats of the two guards that were killed. I'm assuming. Tell me about the message you got from Carmelina on the day of Henry's exorcism. What message? Carmelina sent you a message telling you to leave Grace alone with Henry. No, she didn't. I have a copy of the message right here. Someone's given you false evidence, then, Orichito. The architect was there that day, but she didn't tell me to do anything. She doesn't have authority over me. Then why did you step out of the room? I considered the scene and prisoner secure. I needed to make sure that the architect was safe. Corrupted areas are full of danger. That doesn't seem like a good reasoning. Do you know anything about the Holy Seal? I know this Labigir went through it and killed the council. Nope. Okay, I was expecting more info. Really, this is really annoying because it always just leads to nothing being figured out. Got a minute, Akiko? It's not satisfying like it is in um, in Danganronpa where it's always forward progress. It's just back and forth over and over again. You're going to die. Oh, you're going to die. Humor me. Do you still collect war relics? Why do you care? <laughs> Friendship, Akiko. We've been through this. Fine. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, war relics. Why collect the relics? What's the attraction? It's important to remember the past. The world is shaped by war. Right or wrong, soldiers lay down their lives and fight so you can sleep at night. Forget that and you forget how lucky you are, Nenorichito. Take this. It's a shell from a, a demon I killed in Romania. Before the syndicate. Chivalrous war relic obtained. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good. Now that we've played this friendship thing out, we're done, right? Done? Yes, we became friends. You've got what you wanted. You can leave me alone now. Sorry. If that's what you wanted, Pico. That took longer than I was hoping. Goodbye, then, Orichito. Okay. But that doesn't actually solve anything. And I was hoping for a little bit more information. And a little more probing. I always found a probing. This is where Henry started from, according to Akiko. She claims he broke free. We know that. Start and crunch the numbers. We know that. We're going to speak to him. Okay. Right, so now we know that your alibi is incorrect. Did you go through the barracks last night? Why are you asking? Uh, why are you asking? That's, that's not right. The only statue of New Knight is in the barracks. Well, I guess I did then. Good investigating. You nailed it. Any fucking idea how that happened? 
What everyone is saying about what you did last night might be wrong. Some excitement, finally. Your father. Oh, well, we can also talk about it. You go through the blood lock. What does that... What does the one in the armor say? Akiko, that you killed the council as so you went through with the holy seals. There you go, then. No memory. Uh-huh. I found here. your blood on the lock. That puts you at the scene. I'm shocked. Then why are you asking me? Stunned. Your father? Do you know anything about your father? What do you think? He wasn't around when I was born. Did your mother know him? I think so. She'd never talk about him. I think she loved him. She was scared of talking about him. Find my father. Okay. We'll hang out again. Is there any joy to be had in the islands? Oh yeah, too much really. What the f*** do you think? I'm just trying to get a handle on the island that birthed the crime to end all crimes. We do our work and pray. Sometimes people go to that bar. Sometimes we go to the beach. Did you know that there's boat rides? Frickin' boat rides! Have you been on one? Yeah, a long time ago. My mum took me. We didn't get the best seats. I was a problem kid and she was a single mother. Were you always shunned? She made some friends eventually. There was a mahjong club in one of the apartments. She got in with them. What about you? I found kids to hang out with. Not friends though. I just do stuff to make them laugh. Smash windows, set fire to people. Whatever. That's when I started being arrested a lot. Hang on. What the fudge am I doing opening up like this? Whatever. You want to hear something good? I got something. Yes, always. Let me probe you. Do you have something that you want to tell the investigator? I like you, investigator. I think you're onto something. The code to my safe in my apartment is so numbers. So very many numbers. BS9. I thought you had a bad memory. Some things just get engraved on it. Trust me, I wish they didn't. People should have minds full of things. If you only have a couple of things rattling around in there, it's torture. The same thing keeps bouncing off the edges of your consciousness, and it's like a gone shot each time. Okay. So that's actually one of the bigger and more important things. So I'm wondering now if I should just keep hanging with people over and over again until I get info out of them, because that seems to be the only real solution. I'm going to run this way because Lydia is right next by and I don't really want to use another blood crystal just yet because I get the feeling I'm going to be doing more backtracking over and over again. Which I was really hoping to avoid. But, oh well. Hmm. This is a very long trek though. But now, Lydia should be... Uh, Lydia, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Away, you're further away than I thought you were. Okay. But that's okay. I can run, I can dash. I can hopefully not make more uh, parkour mistakes like those. If I just keep dodging, keep uh, air dashing, maybe I'll get there sooner. This is a very unique game in which this is done, though, because I don't... I mean, I've, I've played Danganronpa. I've played all the Danganronpas. And whilst there is a little bit of open world exploring in it, it's nothing like this, and you don't gain new abilities that allow you to traverse the environment more. So that's something I do like about this. I just wish everything was a little bit more clearly laid out. Hi, Lydia. So, we've got some info about you. It's very important. Uh, tire tracks on the roof. Why were your tire tracks on the penthouse? LD, that was one from last night. When was it then? A couple of weeks ago. I went up there to think. The sunset looks so good up there. That's still infiltration. Do you really think I was on the roof of the council building trying to break in? Somebody got in. I mean, yeah, somebody did. But we also know that, um, that Sam broke in or at least it seems like it given that he was the one that spilled the beans on himself accidentally a bit like how yuri spilled the beans on himself accidentally she's just very good at using that technique where you don't actually need to bring it up and they'll bring it up themselves oh like um one of the guys in danganronpa did that um mondo 
he brought up the death of Chihiro. Or, well, he did it incidentally. Message from Witness. What's going on with the message Witness sent you with the key for the beach obelisks? What message, LD? The Moon database has a backup of your tablet. There's a message from Witness with a file attached. That's the key to using the obelisks. Is that what that was? I got a message and as soon as the mail client opened up, it crashed out and the tablet died. The tablet was straight dead after that. Did you take it to get looked at? Nah, LD, it was a few days ago. We all get new tablets on the next island. And my phone still worked, so I could still do the job. That's your statement. Sure is, LD. I don't know about the file or the key or whatever it was. Ugh. The murder of my Grace bloodlines. Not a thing. Well, I knew that. Do you know anything about the third holy seal? Are you kidding me? Ugh, I'm back to this. I thought I was over this. I thought I had all the evidence I needed to just keep looking around and accusing people. What's good to eat on this island? The deep factory nailed the meat this time. The synthetic meat, that is. Notice how there's now livestock on the island? The deep factory got expanded. All the meat is made from a culture of bugs. There are huge caverns full of bug breeding and meat growing operations. I would probably try that, I think. I mean, it sounds nice, kind of. I'm not afraid of trying synthetic meat. In fact, I eat quite a lot of, um, like, vegetarian meat and stuff. But if the bugs look like... If the meat from bugs looked like pork, I would probably eat it. As long as it tasted like pork as well. I mean, because I would want it to taste like pork, you know? Um, a huge cabin's full of bug beer. Uh, what's the taste like? Does it taste good? Yeah, real good. Yuri always claims it doesn't taste like the real thing, but he's just that type. He's the pickup I dread each time. The amount of bullshit that comes out of his mouth is out of control. Thinks he's a wine connoisseur. Dude, you live on a synthetic island where the grapes are grown underground in a lab. This isn't high-end stuff. He tried to tell Samuel about whiskey one time. Sammy renounced violence, but I thought Yuri was about to get an ice pick in his eye. Sorry, LD. Didn't mean to go off. He drives me crazy. You vent all you want. He's new to me. I'll trust you on this. Ha. Appreciate it. I'll drop you at the beach again. Perfect. Yeah, that's kind of the same feeling I get from him, is I just want to kick him in the face. Uh, case files. Nope. Okay, I was hoping to probe you, but never mind. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, because I triggered the uh, the whole gas leak thing. Yeah. How are you doing? Feedback freak. What's going on? Dead alone zone is leaking demonic gas. The purifying system seems to have failed. That's what happened. That's sure. That's it. That's what happened. And what else? Uh, we can go speak to her again, but we still need to go speak to Witness and Dr. Doomjazz again. I think that's all I can think of, because I don't know... Oh, wait! The dead zone. We're close to Henry's apartment. So we can go and unlock the safe and see what he has in there. But I'm willing to bet it's just like a case of crystals or something. So, stay back. Now I'm good. Now I'm good. You stay back. This is my domain now. So, yeah, I'm willing to bet that the... the chest or whatever in there is just um it's just blood crystals it won't be anything super important unless it's the books that uh, yuri gave him which would be useful but i don't actually think it would do very much because i mean he could just deny it obviously but i want to say there's enough evidence against him that they would actually have some sort of effect Especially because I think there was proof that he got them out. Okay, where's the safe? Here we go. What's in here? It unlocked. Proves that it pays to be nice. Let's see what a citizen like Henry would be hiding in a safe. The Grimoire of Majida. A bit of light reading. This book predates the Great Betrayal. It was written by a scholar of the esoteric, Majida. She was famed for learning how to communicate with the gods and hold cosmic communes with them. This should be the restricted vault of the Syndicate's library. Yuri accessed the restricted area about a decade ago. Did he take this? This is the book Henry was said he was given. This might prove the possession was aided. Someone wanted the island to be invaded by demons, but why? Well, 
we also know that he was at least aided by Akiko. So this all seems to be one gigantic conspiracy. And Sam seems to have been in on it as well. Unless multiple people tried to kill the council all at once. Which also would be pretty hilarious because it means that... I don't know, well, I'm sure there have been cases where multiple people have all tried at one time to kill someone. But only one of them has been actually successful. And the others just kind of got off scot-free but were also held for attempted murder or conspiracy to attempt murder. So how embarrassing must being caught for conspiracy to con commit murder be? Because not only did you fail, you failed at planning properly. At least the people who, uh, you know, get arrested for, cons uh, for attempted murder. At least they actually tried to carry out the plan and failed, but the conspiracy to commit murder, it was like getting caught with your pants down. to a witness to the end and also Carmelina and Yuri so go speak to Yuri then witness then Carmelina we don't need to speak Sam anymore because Sam's already been pretty much caught red-handed but so far it seems like Akiko witness Sam Yuri Sam and Yuri are all viable suspects and the only person who isn't is Henry Everything else is way too convenient. In the safe. Do you know why a book that you took from the library was in Henry's safe? Oh, it's just gonna, yeah, nothing to do with me. Henry says a stranger passed him for a forbidden book and told him to keep it a secret. That book is one you accessed. Not sure you can prove that, freak. If I remember correctly, the library vaults only one record and exit, not what was read or taken. Ah. Uh... Every freaking time. It's opportune, don't you think? Everything is coincidental. Did you access the library vault and give forbidden books and demonology, demonology to Henry? No. You're the only one, the suspect, to access the vault. That doesn't mean the book came from me. My god! God, this is the... Oh. So at this point... I guess that's the difference between this and Danganronpa, is that in this, everyone actually holds it together well enough to lie to you non-stop. Whereas in Danganronpa, if you find one thread, they all just crumble and just they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, you've seen through it. In this, it's like, well, you've caught me and I'm still going to deny it. Which I guess is kind of like real life, but it doesn't make it any less aggravating to deal with. So go speak to the architect and see if she has anything new to say because we also know that she was there on the day of the possession. Get out of the way. So we know she was there at the possession but we also know that she was the one that sent the text. Murder of Grace. The exorcism. Why did you go to Henry's exorcism? I have an acute interest in preventing the islands from succumbing to demonic corruption. It is rare to be able to see the effects of the possession firsthand. Phone message. Tell me about the message you sent to Akiko telling her to leave Grace alone with Henry. I have, no idea what you're talking about. I have a copy of it here. I am sure that it is a fabrication. I have no authority over Akiko. I can't order her to do anything, much less break procedure with something so dangerous. Then why did she step out of the room and leave them unattended? I have no idea. You have to ask the Grand Marshal. Uh, you don't know about this. Secret. Nope. Hang out. Can I ask you something, Architect? The what is the point of all these questions, Investigator? That dog, I don't like it. I usually like any dog, but I don't like that dog. I'm just trying to get to know you, Architect. The syndicate's changed in my time away. How does getting to know me relate to the case? All it seems to be doing is delaying you from executing Henry. What do you do as the Architect? I craft and enable dreams. 
Each island needs to be thoroughly designed. I plan every square inch. It takes centuries. The islands are given form by the council's psychic will. I transmute that psychic will into physical form. Parents. You follow in your parents' footsteps. My mother and father had a unique gift, one that they taught me. The gift was part of the silent goat's blessing when the syndicate was formed. We needed somewhere to live outside of the real world. How do you transmute the council's will? I have never been able to describe it. It's just a feeling when they meditate and envisage the island. I am able to open psychic pathways to a new reality and let the island take shape. I can do that with blue tack. Oh, I'm glad to do that. I am quite the sculptor of uh, office arts. The syndicate would be lost without me. I live to serve. See, now the dog is cute again. Can we discuss something of a delicate nature? Yes, probe time. Go do all the probing. Do you have something you want to tell me? Something concerns me about witness. Some of us become more complicated as our lives go on. Others do not. I can see it behind his mask. He's definitely changed, but... Witness has become gripped with religious hysteria. He believes that we have strayed too far from the path. Once the rat wanted to protect... Wanted to protect the... Protected the new island. Once the rat wanted to protect the new island with a tighter grip on the syndicate. In Witness's eyes, our leader was not placing enough importance on resurrecting the gods. Once the rat was furthering the syndicate, not our holy mission. And that doesn't make him a sinner. Don't be short-sighted. The syndicate are hampered by demonic invasions and the death of our homes. Once the rat was playing a longer game. Build a perfect island, rule it perfectly, and then focus on the gods. Our divided attention was getting us nowhere. Witness had grown infuriated with Montserrat. They were like baying dogs in syndicate meetings. Witness voted against every one of Montserrat's proposals. Sure. Is there anything else? When a man becomes complicated, he often withdraws. Witness is no different. He needed time with his thoughts. His sanctuary was his apartment. It became rare to see him. I have wondered what he does up there. Is this privacy more than usual? We would almost never see him. He would only leave his apartment to attend syndicate meetings, and only then it was to scream religious proclamations at us. That was one of the reasons I went to see him last night. I was worried. I needed to know he was fine at the final end of the island. Thank you for your candor, architect. And again, spilling the blame, or turning the blame off, on someone else. Oof, that was close. I was worried then it was crashing. I thought it was just about to break. Uh, I'm going to find a save point because I've not saved in a while. And there we go. Yeah, Hater would always warn me to save the game whenever it was... Uh... Oh, oh. Whenever I'd been going for long enough because... You don't know whether or not, because it's a Unity game, whether or not it's going to crash again. Excuse me. Um, Sam's never going to be needed to speak to again, I hope. Witness, however, might be important. Because we also know now about the device, which I still need to track down. But that's off the, it's on the cliff. So I might leave that and go and do that myself because I can't guarantee that I'll be able to find it immediately. Whereas finding out all the information I can about Witness and everyone else is important. Hello, Witness. Bloody hell. Uh, what about your motive? Paranoia. I understand you've become more secretive. Maybe a bit paranoid? Who told you that? Are you hiding something? Others get jealous when you have a purpose in life. My holy work doesn't concern those who are straying. My personal business is my own. Secrets are dangerous, Witness. They can take physical forms before you realise. You don't need to lecture me, Investigator. Your alibi. What do you know about the phone number... Blah, 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 blah. It's not a phone number of sorts. Unless it uses like the American 555 Klondike thing. 
I have no idea what number that is. Why? Then why did your phone dial it at midnight last night? I assure you I didn't. Why are we doing this dance, witness? What dance? Do you honestly think I just pulled the number out of my arse, waltzed over here and accept, will accept no idea as an answer? The council has been murdered. Everyone left on this island is a suspect, a lunatic, an idiot, or all three. I'm not in the mood for no idea. Ooh, sassy. I pulled that number from your phone and you dialed it at midnight last night. Midnight last night is when the council were murdered. I'm sorry, investigator, but I have no idea what that number is. Are you sure the phone records haven't been tampered with? There was no evidence of tampering. The records were accessed from your phone via a communications verification protocol at communication station 001A. Well, there must be some mistake. A misdial, perhaps. Carmelina told me you were using your phone at midnight. I know you did this, and I'll prove it at trial. Why did you want Crimson to get the key to the second seal? I didn't. You're lying. I have testimony that not only you not only asked her to get the key, but that she gave you the key as well. That simply isn't true. I have almost nothing to do with Miss Acid. She's lying to you, Lady Love Dies. You are being played. Have you got the key? I didn't even know the second seal required a key. I don't have it. You're lying. I am not Lady Love Dies. Miss Acid is tricking you. She is turning us against each other. Why? It's your job to find out. Fire! Uh, I guess I should respect it for being true to life. But still. You know, I assume more people would lie if they were actually in life or death. They wouldn't just announce it to the world like they do in Danganronpa, but still. You asked Crimson to get the key to the second Holy Seal from Kehex. No, I... Witness, I'm losing my patience. By asking her to do that, and by her account taking a copy from her, you're the prime suspect for who went through it. I did nothing of the sort. You're denying all of it or just going through the seal? All of it. I had nothing to do with Miss Acid's preposterous story or the second seal. No desire to cooperate at all? I can't cooperate with a fabrication. Murder. Do you know about the murder? Doesn't that case solve? Nope. Do you know anything about the third? Nope. Okay. Hang out. Want to chat? I must warn you that I am not one for long conversations. Why plants? The gods tended to us and raised us. Maybe I can hope to have some insight into their brilliance by tending to life myself. What about Destroyed Eden? I remember that you were a devoted follower of Destroyed Eden. He gallops through the universe, a true majesty. My unwavering devotion to him got through got my through many dark times. He was a light I could follow. Do you want to talk about those dark times? They are behind me now. The old life is gone. Now I only concern myself with my holy work. Do not dwell on your past. Embrace the life ahead of you and let the gods shine upon it. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. I am enjoying our conversations, Lady Love Dies. There is a sensitive matter to which we could discuss further. Probe. I don't really want to probe him, but I guess I have to. Do you want to t have something? Do you have something you want to tell the investigator? Things happened while you were in exile, Lady Love dies. The architect and I became close and we married. It didn't last, though. She is obsessed with a perfect island. There wasn't any room in her heart for me or the gods. I've been reluctant to tell you until now, but I am worried about her. Her mind is not on the cosmos. In what way? Witness and Carmelina were married. It didn't end well. Witness says she was too focused on achieving a perfect island. Do you believe that you should be rewarded for your craft? Mm, um, me personally? Yes, I do. Do you enable other people's success? Maybe you could sympathise with the architect there. Sure. She architects our islands. Without her, we have nothing. Our work is for the gods. They lifted us up and we must do the same for them. Personal reward is a sin that pushes us from their light. It depends. If I'm good at doing a job, I want to be paid for it. I fear she has forgotten this. Thank you for confiding in me, witness. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
so Doom Jazz, her, and Akiko again. I don't know what Akiko would have to say. Um, fourth Holy Seal is a mystery. How to find the barrier before the Council's penthouse breached? One last kiss said, I need to search behind contrivances. Did someone hide something behind a mechanism or function of the island? There's an area of suspiciously weak looking ground behind the Syndicate graveyard. That's where it was. Okay, so if it's in there, maybe it's a bigger thing than I realised. Uh, so, map. Syndicate graveyard. There. Look at HQ. These are the Syndicate apartments. It's the courthouse. Okay, so Syndicate Graveyard must be around here somewhere. In which case, that means that something important could be. Oops. Let's be on the cliffs, because. I'm sure it's on the cliffs. Sure, where on the cliffs? Would be a nice piece of evidence. But this is the barracks again, so I don't think it'd be here. Especially because I'm pretty sure it was behind um, Sammy's place. Jump up of Sammy's building and then head back over there. Or I can stay up here and then get a good bird's eye look at the rest of the place and figure it out. Because I don't think Sammy would be living close to the Syndicate graveyard. So. I'm now up here in citizen housing. Why is Sammy living near citizen housing? What sense does that make? He's one of the council. I know that it was on a cliff. Hmm? So I thought it was on a cliff. I'm still at Sam Bar. Nope, that wasn't what I wanted. Ah! Meditating. Oh, wait a minute, that might actually help. I think. It's just stinging again. Um. Damn it. Okay, so there has to be. Also, has to be around here somewhere. I mean, this looks like a graveyard to me. But, and again, my standards are not that of the Syndicate. But even so, I think most of this is just going to end up being Shinji visits. Because I've already discovered most of the island's secrets already. Uh, uh, oh, oh well, Blood Bar is still good. I like the Blood Bar. The Way of the Blood Bar and the 5th, 25th Island Secrets. Do you have any secrets? I tried it once and didn't like it. Why not? The dark spiral in my stomach when someone got close to the secret. That's part of having a secret. It proves it's worth keeping. It put me off my food. Eh? Yeah, some people don't like secrets. I don't particularly like secrets, but... Usually the ones that affect me, though. I think everyone always wants to hear about secrets, but they never want to be involved in secrets. Or bad ones, anyway. Ocean Boil. Ocean's Boil is an army of demons descend on us. Natasha Silence dies in defense of the Golden Church. Okay. I don't actually know if any of those are important. Uh. 
it might be worth calling it here for now. I didn't realise what time it was. But I've done what I wanted to do today and showed off my uh, model and gotten a little bit further through this. Even though I didn't make as much progress as I was hoping to, I was hoping to actually be done with the trial today. But I guess I didn't get as much evidence as I was hoping I would. But things have come together a bit and we've already now managed to uh, condone, not condone, um, condemn Sam as a suspect because he admitted, unwillingly admitted to being uh, the one that broke the third seal. And we know that Yuri admitted to being the one to get the obelisks for the second seal going, whilst believing that he is the mastermind behind it all, which was a very important element because it means that either that or multiple people were working together. Or it means that Yuri is just the... He, he really is just the stupid person amidst it all that doesn't realise he's being manipulated by Sam. And given Sam still has his... Sam still has his gloves, or he did have his gloves until I took them. He could have been the one to... Um, to make the hole in the ground, to plant the, to put the, um, whatever it is that I was meant to be looking for up there, away. And whatever it is, he also had the, the vial of blood, so... Oh man, so if, if I'm right, and what the, what he has hidden inside the patch of dirt that was dug up and then had something buried in it. Are you still guarding the thing? Yes, you're still guarding the thing. Um then that means that Sam could very well be the mastermind behind it all. And he could have goaded... Uh, I mean, Lydia might not even have any idea about it. She might be innocent entirely. But it means that he could be the one that's sort of um, promised all these other things to people. And he could be the one that's masterminded everything. And it could just be a huge conspiracy with the rest of the council. Wouldn't that be a... Oh, a lot of fudge. Investigator, is the paradise worth saving? Are you ready? If you found facts across the truth, I'm ready to work with you. Are you examine the case. Are you ready? No. Nope. I'm still investigating, but I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, call it there, I think, and then switch back to just chatting for a bit longer. I think it's just a couple of us anyway, so. And, yep. So, let's go back. Yeah, it wasn't the same, it wasn't the progress I wanted to make, but hey, it's better than, uh, well. It's better than I had made last time, so, you know. But, oh well. Yeah. My eyes are all over the place. Hmm. Anyway, so I'll see if I can get a little bit more done in the next period. And then I'll hopefully come back to this on Monday, I guess. Because I wanted to play more Boyfriend Dungeon on Saturday and more um, Layers of Fear. Onto more layers of fear on uh, on Friday. Man, I'm spacey. Too spacey. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It's been nice having you here. And thank you for coming to check me out. I hope to use this model a bit more until, uh, at least until the 3D one comes in. And then I'll just swap back and forth depending on my mood. I've also got a motion leap clip coming, so next time I use my 3D model, I should actually be able to wave my arms around a bit without, well, wave them around myself without them waving around, you know, without me controlling them, which will be more important because otherwise I just have flailing arms non-stop. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you around. Bye bye for now. Goodbye.